Welcome to the module Creating a Pricing Rule Based on Sales Units. Automate Pricing helps you to automatically price your products based on the pricing rule that you have created. There are two types of pricing rules Competitive Pricing Rule and Sales Based Pricing Rule. Competitive Pricing Rule helps you to update or adjust your prices based on what price you want to compare to, that is, buy box or lowest price. Sales-based pricing rule helps you price products based on the number of units that you have sold by the end of a time interval you set. By the end of this module, you will be able to understand what is sales-based pricing rule, why should you use this pricing rule, and the steps to create this rule. Sales-based pricing rule helps you to benchmark or adjust the price of your products against your own unit sales through which you will be able to reach an optimum price and increase in sales. The benefits of this rule are 1. It will help you price products at which customers might be willing to buy it. 2. It may help you to set an optimum price for the unique selection which is not offered by any other sellers. 3. It will help you manage your inventory health efficiently. 4. It will increase your chances to gain more profits on fast-moving inventory. 5. It will help you clear the slow-moving inventory by automatically adjusting its prices. Let's go ahead and create a sales-based pricing rule. Open your Seller Central. Under the Pricing tab, click on the Automate Pricing button. You will land on the Automate Pricing homepage. Click on the Get Started button to create a new pricing rule. Click on Based on Sales Unit under the type of rule you want to create from the drop-down menu. Give a name for the rule for your reference, like Sales Below 10 Units. Specify the unit sales thresholds on which you want to lower your price. Define the price factor by which you want the automatic price action to take place either as amount or percentage. Note that you must enter a minimum value of at least 1% or rupees 1 and the maximum percentage that you can enter is up to 90%. You can run this rule based on the frequency mentioned in the drop-down. To confirm your pricing rule parameters, read the rule summary that appears below. Click on Save and select SKUs button to move to the next step. Your rule will be saved even if there are no SKUs selected. Automate pricing will not change or adjust the prices on your SKUs until it's assigned to your pricing rule. Go to Edit SKUs page and choose the created new rule. Set a minimum and maximum price for each SKU you add to the rule. Click on Start Repricing button to make your rule active. Create a sales-based pricing rule and assign some of your SKUs which are uniquely sold by you to increase your sales. Thank you and happy selling with Amazon.in.